Welcome back. You know, we were talking about credit cards and debt and slavery and all that nasty stuff. But there's one thing I need to show you because someone knows how money works and most people don't. So, for instance, right now there are 1.2 billion credit cards in the United States. That's a lot of credit cards out there. And the average interest rate, in other words, all the cards combined, all the, the, the interest, if you average the interest rate, is like 21% on those cards. Now, you and I go down to the bank, you know, we'll put money in the bank, we might get 2%, but banks have found a way to invest their money at 21%. So what do they know that we don't know? Interesting question. Well, let's just say you had $25 a month to invest, you're age 20, and at age 70, that's 50 years, that's your working lifetime, you just consistently put that $25 a month in an investment. And let's assume you could get the 21% that the bank is getting. What would it grow to? $25 a month over that 50-year period of time. And you'd have to agree, anyone could probably invest $25 a month. If you had a place to invest at 21%, it would grow to, hold, hold on, $48 million. Your retirement would be assured. You would have no problems. But you don't have a place that you can guaranteed invested that, but the banks do. Even $1 a month, if you just invested $1 a month for 50 years, it would grow to $1.8 million at a 21% interest rate. Now, I think you're getting the picture why they send the envelopes, why they keep trying to get you in debt, because it's not because they love you, it's not because they want you to have their products, it's because they want you in debt paying interest. In fact, try it. Go to a retail store, a major retail store. Take cash in your hand so the clerk can see it and say, I'm purchasing these goods today. The clerk will not take your money. They're going to ask you a question first. They're going to say, would you like our credit card? Of course, you're thinking, credit card, I have cash in my hand. Oh, but you'll get 15% off this purchase if you take our card today. Now, being the uh, very wise shopper as you are, you think, I can't leave 15% on the table, so you apply for the card, and you have the card, and what happens is the average person that does that does not pay it off. In fact, it takes 22 years to pay a credit card off if you make the minimum payment, but people deceive themselves. It's crazy. You've heard of the 90 days same as cash? Well, people, they don't go into that process thinking, well, I'm just going to bury myself in debt. You know what they think? I'm going to pay this off in 90 days. It's no interest. It's free interest. 90 days, same as cash. That's crazy. Why wouldn't I do that? Guess what? 80% of the people that do that never pay it off in 90 days. They end up with a finance company loan at between 28 and 32%. Friend, you need to understand that someone wants your money. And unless you know how money works, you'll never defend yourself against these tactics. Now, how do we get free? Well, obviously, the first thing you want to do to get free is you have to decide to be free. What that means is you have to decide not to fall for the trap. That's easy. Keep the pen in the pocket and don't sign any debt papers, all right? That's how you do it. Stay out of debt. Don't sign debt papers. That's number one. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, how do I survive? How can I buy things? I mean, I don't have enough cash to do this big deal. I mean, I need to have the cash. You know, I got to use debt. Well, that's where the deception is. You don't have to use debt. So, for instance, I remember talking to a lady I went to help, and uh, she, she said, I'm, I'm, I'm out of money. I said, okay, what, what do you have? And so I began to find, I found out she had 52 credit cards maxed out, 52. And I said, oh, ma'am, you want to get out of debt? you got to cut these cards up. She burst into tears and said, how am I going to buy my shoes? Well, I about flipped out of my chair. Shoes, let's talk about food. Let's talk about something more important. Let's talk about your future. Let's talk about getting free. The first step of getting free from debt is to stop using debt. And the only way to do that is to stop using debt. You have to make a decision. You have to make a quality decision that I can get free. Now, I know you're going to think it's going to be torturous and I can't ever have anything. And here's what I tell people. They still make them. Well, I can't buy that. I can't. They still make them. They'll take your cash later when you can afford it. They still make it. And so you have to retrain yourself how to do that. Now, here's how you get out of debt. Number one, stop using debt. Number two, you've got to learn how the biblical system of finances work. The kingdom of God has more information on finances than it does heaven. 
The Bible is very clear on biblical principles that God has told us work. And by using those principles, you can be free. So for instance, my wife and I, we're in debt for nine years, serious debt. I mean, bondage, panic attacks, antidepressants, uh, IRS liens, pawn shops, everything canceled type debt. And for nine years, not one week, nine years, it was hopeless, hopeless, hope. Hell on earth, actually, is what it was. Hell on earth. I always say financial stress kills you slowly, but it does kill you. Okay, so it was hell on earth. And I didn't, I didn't like living in hell on earth, but God taught me how the kingdom of God operates and by applying biblical principles and learning how the kingdom operated, in two and a half years, we were completely debt-free, went on to start companies, pay cash for cars and houses, whatever. It changed our entire life, so much so that we launched this program to help you. Fixing the money thing, we need to fix your money thing. And you need to help us. We're going to do it together, okay? So you understand now someone wants your money. You understand you need to know biblical principles. So let's talk about some basics. How do I start getting out of debt? I'm assuming right now as we talk, as we're talking, you are cutting your credit cards up right now as we're talking. I hope you are. All right, now, number two, we're gonna, we gotta find money. So it takes money to pay debt off. So Gary, how do I find it? That's easy. Now, I know that just shocked you. That, that's easy because you have a lot of money you don't know you even have. Now, I've done this for 32 years. I have shown people how to be debt-free in five to seven years, including their home mortgage, without changing their budget, their income, by finding lost money. So we've got to find lost money. The first place we have to look is your budget. So I want you to get a piece of paper out. I know you don't have time right now, but at least make a note. Write your budget down on paper, not what you think you spend. I want you to go back in time over the last three months and write down exactly what you spent for eating out, what you spent for whatever. I want those numbers have to be accurate because in those numbers, we're going to find a lot of wasted money and then we're going to find a lot of wasted money that you don't even have a clue where it's at. We'll talk about that. So first, you got the budget and obviously the very first scan, you can find money. You can say, well, I can do better with that. I can cut back on that. I can... I can cook more at home. You, you'll find some money just by looking at your lifestyle and deciding that, you know what, I can do better with that money. Okay, that, you'll find some money. When you do, write it down. Write it down. If it's $200 a month, if it's $300, write that number down. Now comes the fun part. I call it a treasure hunt because everyone has treasure they don't know. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to walk into your basement. Okay, so let me write this down. We're going to... Go to the basement and the garage. And I want you to look at things that are covered with dust. Things that you have purchased, you're not using, and you could sell. Everyone has things they can sell that they haven't used for a long time in the, in the garage, the basement. And so what we're, gonna look, what we're looking for right now is we're building a cash reserve. So... We're looking for money that can be a lump sum. Now, remember, we had you write down the budget found money, the money you found on the budget. That's, we'll come back to that. Right now, we're looking for a lump sum. So we're going to sell things in the basement. We're going to sell things in the garage. And we'll come up with a lump sum. We're going to find, that's not a dollar sign, is it? Let me do that again. Dollar sign. We're going to find a lump sum. And we'll keep adding to that as we go through that. So there's money there. Number two, I want you to look at all your monthly payments, and I want you to look for payments that are not necessary. So we're going to look for items you can live without. Maybe it's a second car, or maybe it's an RV, maybe it's a motorcycle, whatever it is. Or maybe it's a gym membership. I'm, you can kind of figure out where I'm headed. Whatever it is. You're going to find you are spending money on monthly payments. This list is monthly payments. Money you're spending monthly with things that you would not exchange your freedom for. In other words, is the second car, assuming you don't need, you know, you have a spare car, is it worth your freedom? Is the RV worth your freedom? Is the motorcycle worth your freedom? Uh, you have to decide what's valuable. But the bottom line is there are payments here that you can use. Now that adds up to another list of monthly money here. 
that we can apply towards your debt. So we have a lump sum, that becomes your cash reserve. We're now finding monthly money. And this is all fairly obvious stuff. And then we're going to dig into things you don't look at a lot, like taxes, insurance, your current debt structure, all of that. Now, obviously, we don't have time to cover that today, but we do cover it in a brand new book I've just brought out called Nine Simple Steps to Your Financial Freedom. In this book, it'll show you how to put together what I've just talked about, how to get the worksheets. They're all listed in here, how to find the money, where to find the money. And then what I would do is couple this book with my book, Fixing the Money Thing, which covers how to find lost money. In both of these books, with this concept of locating money you don't know you have, we're going to find enough money to get you out of debt in five to seven years, including your mortgage. So again, brand new book just came out. Get that with your family. Sit down, go through it, fixing the money thing. And you can put together the plan with these two tools to begin the process we just barely tapped on here by going to GaryCassie.com. You'll be, I mean, it's all right there. You can go through the process with you and your family and find the money and then begin to accelerate your debt and you can be free. We've done it with hundreds of thousands of people for 32 years. It'll work for you and you'll enjoy life. It'll be better and God is great. He'll help you as well. And you do not have to live hopeless anymore. You can be free and excited about your tomorrow. Go to GaryCassie.com. You'll find the information there. And I pray for you now in the name of Jesus that, Father, I first come against fear and anxiety in the financial area. I know how that is. I bind that lie in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. They can be free. And we ask you for revelation and insight and creativity for them to see and understand that, yes, they can be free. And I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. I look forward to seeing you next time right here at Fixing the Money Thing. Go to GaryCassie.com. Begin your journey to freedom today. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.